talk about Sverige guys. Yes, I may put in the titles I debunk Sverige, but it's not like that. Uh, a guy that I am subscribed to uh, called Nobody linked me this guy here. Nobody linked me Sverige. I guess it's Sweden in in, in Swedish. Whatever. So we have this guy here. Right away, you know, it just hit me uh, with this fucking t-shirt, you know. This guy doesn't believe in good and evil and... Uh, and But the fact is that uh, this guy that linked this guy is, is a believer. Okay, like me. Uh, so, I didn't expect that. But uh, as Bill Cooper says, you know, you better, you know, this guy, you, it's better, you, you listen to him. There's something good. And at the end, I'll put a video that I liked about him, you know. So, uh, the main point about uh, this guy, you know, that I wanted to explain is that, yes, I like his, uh, his uh, videos. Uh, but I don't agree when he says that, uh, that good and evil doesn't exist in nature. Well, you dumb moron, even love doesn't exist in in, in the woods. Because in, by in nature, he says, you know, when you are in nature, you know, you just have to kill and to hunt. And uh, it's, uh, there's no good and evil when, when doing that. Well, moron, you are not an animal. Okay, you moron? You are not an animal, and there are other uh, aspects as well for us humans to live with each other. I mean, if we were animals, we would just pee where we eat and poo where we where we stay. And now I will explain you why, and you can see why this guy doesn't believe in. Uh, of course, in God, in uh, there's no good, there's no evil, you know. Because if you take a look at his at his uh, website, he eats raw meat and goes uh, where to piss off, you know, vegans, you know, uh, just to make some good views, you know, and to attract morons that will give them money to him uh, because he has also money let me show you oh, it's here yes. uh, YouTube has never allowed me to monetize my channel so come and get me some money you dumb morons anti-vegan clothes so for some r for many aspects I'm close to this guy because I was a vegan too and then I realized it's it's uh, so there's something to this diet that this guy offers for sure. It's better than ve veganism, and uh, you know, but it's easy to to know what's uh, what's good for you guys. You just have to see what the masses do and do the opposite. You know, if veganism, I realize, you know, when I open my eyes, that you know, veganism was fucking pushed by the system everywhere, and then I realized maybe there's something to it. You know. So, um, what I'm going to say now, it's uh, basically this, guys. Uh, let's let's start just uh, quickly by, by listening to this uh, first video that uh, uh, a guy, um, nobody. Which... Seven years ago, I decided to sell almost everything that I have. It's an incredibly freeing feeling. Uh, this happened to me also. When I left my job, I tried to get rid of all the shit I had sold lots of shit I had in my house and I wanted to be free, go in the woods, walk until you know 2020 came and they will not let you here in Italy uh, walk anymore so let's uh, so that's mm, there are many aspects that are close to me with this guy you know loves nature and uh, I never liked the system that we live in. Even when I was 10 years old, I thought that I would never have a job and uh, assumed that I would end up being homeless. I never took school serious and only played around. Now, literally... Talking about this, guys, I wanted to show you... Uh, here it is. 
these are my uh, my uncle that lives in Albania guys I know you might not give a shit you know but I'm going to show you this I went to my house where I use, was little in Albania and uh, I had like this uh, grades you know my grades in Albania and you will see here these are this is me you know Marcel Constantin Minga Duras where I lived in Albania and and I just want to show you here is the Masonic uh, uh, eagle double-headed eagle in Albania communism pure communism Republica Populare Socialista Chipris which means rep uh, yes you guessed it uh, Chipria it's Albania you might say well, they really yes this is how we spell Albania you uh, know this is the uh, school ministry so to speak but it's not schools another word that I can find right now so and uh, uh, you can see here that I, I was uh, you know this is an Albanian of course but uh, here is reading and writing oh, he reads and writes very well says the teacher here uh, ma math uh, it works very well with uh, exercises and, and problems that we give to him. Uh, moral and politic education. Zbaton Shumi Regovat, he obeys to, uh, to, to the rules. He genes the Mercedes. He is also clean and uh, behaves well. Edukim Physic, uh, so physic education, like, you know, gym, whatever. He, he does very well uh, all the games that we do for exercise and everything. So singing and music, he sings very well. Well, yes, you can tell I sing very well. Uh, Visa teams to drawing, uh, he draws very well. Ah, very well. But, but, well, this guy was the first year of school, so it's very. And in fact, uh, uh, what, why I'm going to show you this, guys? Uh, Pundor. <laughs> Pundor. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to say something in Albania, which is funny. Like here, here it says like uh, working with the hand, and I said in Albania this is something that I still do, unfortunately, <laughs> working with the hand. Shania, for me, just the third That's So here, uh, this one is funny, guys. We we were living in communism, but here it says. Quidesset per pronon. Pronon means property. So he takes care of his property. You know, takes care of his stuff. You know, well, in in uh, in uh, in uh, communism in Albania we didn't have. But I just want to say this, guys, that uh, the first two years of school were were with this one here, Marietta Musiciari. That was a lovely, lovely teacher. Yes, we were in a prison and everything, but uh, this was a lovely teacher. And I remember, and I, it was lovely because I remember when I was in kindergarten, we had uh, a teacher there that just, uh, 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 I remember, she used to uh, take out her feet and would tell to us kids, go uh, make a massage on my feet. And we would uh, head, you know, it's pure, pure slavery, guys, just w as soon as we were born. We get this sh treatment, this shit. Uh, so, one time I was not uh, caressing and massaging very well her feet, and she hit me with her feet that went in my mouth, guys. Unbelievable. So, that was a first taste of, you know, of uh, sucking decks, so to speak, for so that w it would uh, prepare me for the future, you know. Which is, you know, how you should suck decks. No, I don't want to bore you with this guy, but I just wanted to show you as uh, as time went by, you know, look at the transformation of the of the Doftesa, which was which was the grades, you know. Look at the transformation. So this is 88, 89. Then uh, we are approaching the 90s here. So you can see the difference here. Already the graphics and everything are changing. But here is in the 90s, guys, where shit hit the fan in Albania. Black and white. Everything is shit. Uh, the, the writing, you can... Even, even people are writing bad, you know? You cannot tell what the fuck the teacher is writing here. And here also we changed the teacher, I remember, in the third grade. 
And here we arrive at, uh, and this one is of my brother, uh, which is just a fucking piece of paper there with some lines, <laughs> photocopied a thousand times, you know. And we went so from a communism, which was three colors, I guess. Yes, three colors, because I used to print and I know this stuff. So it, it took, you know, three colors to, to do this shit, you know, very well, uh, graphically speaking. And to that shit there. Uh, so, let me go ahead, uh, let me go ahead and talk about this Nike here. So, uh, talking about niggas, this guy is uh, Nordic and, and it's very cold, you know, when I, when I hear him, you know, he has... So fucking cold, monotone voice. What the fuck, man? Gives me chills. And also, it gives me chills when I fucking see shit like this, man. <laughs> well, he says this is fucking normal. But uh, what I want to... Uh, the main point about this, guys. I want to to make you understand one fact about these morons, guys. So this guy, for, for many reasons, I suggest to watch his videos. And I'm still watching his videos. As you can see, I've watched a lot of videos. Um, but there's there's the this issue of a, a good and good and bad, you know, good and evil. He says that in nature there's no good and evil. Well, of course. Uh, and you can tell this guy doesn't believe. And and what I'm trying to say with this guys is that good and evil are aspects of the spiritual part of our body. We have the material part, which is this shit here. You know, matter. That's why these these people concentrate so much on eating, on diet, guys. They think that the diet is the key to everything. And if you watch his video, you will see that he says we are slaves because we eat bad. Well, I can guarantee you it's not only the food. Yes, people are messed up because they eat uh, junk food. But it's not so important, you know. So... Uh, as so so many people make it uh, sound like. Uh, so, as you can see here, the let's uh, where is it? Well, I guess yes, this one. Eh? No, mm, let me see. Here it is, guys. So, if you sort his videos by popularity, you will see that most of his videos just talk about you know this fight of diet of uh, you know you should eat vegan no you should eat meat raw meat and uh, these morons really like it since the people also are all on the material part you know they have no spirituality anymore you know and they like this shit you know two million views about this shit guys They're talking of what of what the fucking we put in our fucking mouths and, and you end up, you know, thinking that there's no good, there's no evil. For these people, there's no good, there's no evil. If you cannot see it, I cannot touch it, there's, that doesn't exist for them. God doesn't exist for them. You cannot see it, you cannot touch it. Love doesn't exist for them. We cannot see it, we cannot touch it. There, food, just fucking food. He goes around, you know, eats a pork head. Look at this shit, guys. He's eating pork head. Raw. He drinks fucking blood, guys. I mean, it's like uh, the uh, materialization of Satan, here, guys. <laughs> if there is such a thing. <laughs> and uh, he makes fun of uh, vegans, which <laughs> I agree. <laughs> are fucking morons, of course, for not realizing, you know, that the system is pushing veganism, you know. But I don't understand all this uh, concentrating on the on this uh, material part, you know, which is the fucking diet. If you want, you know, guys, to... to and also the, the other uh, aspect that... Uh, because he says, let's hear this. All that I own is in this backpack. I have my laptop, charger, cameras, um, power bank, a few cables and some clothes. That's about it. In nature, I would have uh, weapons and other tools that I would use for survival. Now I have these modern tools that I use to survive in this modern man-made system. I put own in quotes because I don't actually own any of it. I could put my man-made name in this man-made language on everything that's inside of there, but it would still be impossible for me as an animal to own any of it because owning is a man-made belief. It doesn't exist. 
so for he for him doesn't exist the private property that doesn't exist it's uh, you know, very 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 in line with uh, Schwab you know you own nothing and will be happy exist that's why the more stuff you buy the emptier your life gets a lot of people nowadays talk about the phrase you will own nothing and be happy a large part of you seem to misunderstand what it is referring to tell us very tell us referring to what they're saying is that in the future you will have to rent out all of your meaningless stuff instead of buying it but that's essentially already the system that we live in it varies from country to country but in most countries when you buy a property or land you actually simply rent it out from the government this is exactly why they can tell you what you are allowed to do on your own land. <laughs> the system will simply expand even further. People misunderstand it and believe that they will not be allowed to own a lot of stuff. But in actuality, the government wants you to rent out apartments and houses from them. They want you to buy the latest phones, computers, pets instead of children, paintings to decorate. Pets instead of children, these good guys. Uh, again, I, I'm suggesting to watch this guy, but, you know, at least for me, when it comes to the spiritual part, I, I will not take advice from this guy for, for sure. Your cage, furniture... Uh, of course, uh, I'm not uh, so uh, so interested in his uh, eating raw and blood. Don't care for shit about that. Every new thing that you buy is just another chain you put around yourself so that you can never leave the system. Don't get me wrong, building or having your own shelter in itself is obviously natural, but renting it from your slave masters and having it numbered and registered is a whole different story. That's not how it should be, and there's no fun in that. Besides that, you would usually have to work a lot and earn money to be able to do it, but in nature, you don't need to pay or get somebody's permission for it. People nowadays buy cars and other large objects. In nature. Well, everything is owned in nature, which is that that you does, do not believe, you know. Everything is owned, and you cannot touch anything in nature, you know. Here, where I live in the mountain, I take dead wood. And I'm very careful of not doing anything. Any, I, I made a shelter one day. But they, they destroyed, you know. I showed you when I went with Amerigo. It was destroyed, you know. Nobody le lets you... I mean, we live in a fucking totally slaves guys uh... they sign all kinds of contracts these are all ways that you bind yourself to your own cage so that you never even think about leaving that's why this is true so again guys I suggest to watch this channel there's lots of good shit uh... all of it doesn't appeal to me very much also if I would try to build something in nature I could get a very high fine or even imprisonment for it in Europe. Oh, I could be too, yeah. And don't even get me started on hunting. <laughs> if I would kill a small bird in this forest, I could get a three year prison sentence. Yet people still ask me, why do you not hunt? It's not up to me. Living naturally is generally forbidden. Of course, the slave consumer parents will also buy all of the latest toys for their children. The girls will get baby dolls. Even though all that they want are a baby brother or a s Okay, did you hear that guys? Let's hear again. That was powerful. Humor parents will also buy all of the latest toys for their children. The girls will get baby dolls. Even though all that they want are a baby brother or a sister to take care of. Okay, did you get that? If there's any sheeple here. Did you get that Mara? And the boys will be surrounded by superheroes. This is done so that they grow up the superheroes which is the believing that the police are the good guys instead of realizing who they actually are the prison guards the prison guards instead of you know oh of course you know later on they will ask you for a smartphone because you got them used to meaningless stuff sometimes it will be too expensive so you will tell them to get a job and pay for it themselves there you go you created a consumer slave working just to buy nothing really all that children need are some rocks and sand to play. This will give them way more joy than any man-made toy you could buy. This is so fucking true, guys. I remember when I was in Albania. Uh, uh, around us, new buildings were being built in, in Durus, the city where I, where I lived. And we remember that we used to take the... Uh, the how do you call the fucking... Uh, thing that you 
the brick, you know, bricks, and we will break them like this, guys. So I'm making it like 3D, you know, we break them kind of like this. So th this part here we will take away, and you will have something like an L, you know, and that we would uh, we would uh, spin it, and it would look like a car, you know. Uh, let me see if I can kind of do this because with this program here I cannot take out the like I cannot I just have to push continuously so you will have something like this you know which look kind of like a car you know if you see it without wheels of course and we will like uh, fill it with sand here yeah and and we will make tracks where this car you know would go you know and we will like uh, uh, put sand on one side of this truck and then uh, un un uh, unload it somewhere else you know here for example okay and we'll you know be creative with nothing else just with stones and sand possibly think of you may believe that you are giving them something but you're actually only taking away their freedom I like the edits he does, but I'd like a, a, a little bit less the music that he, this guy, <laughs> if you can hear his fucking music guys, it's just unbelievable, I mean, if, if this guy looks intelligent and everything, and then you hear that fucking music which is fucking unbelievably ugly guys, <laughs> you, if you uh, see his channel, so uh, Sverige, if you ever watch this video, dude, do you realize that uh, that the the fucking money that you get from people that make you live comes from the shitty system? So indirectly, you are taking the system money. Sverige, my dear Sverige, you are taking shitty money. But again. If you don't believe in good and evil, uh, life is about to having fun. Yeah, all right. Uh, there was another one here. Kill blood meat. Tspring.com. Kill blood meat. Yeah. Veganism, veganism malnutrition. Yes. And also, give me money so I can tell you what's good for you. You are more, you know. And have lots of money, mm, even though those monies you have made working the system, you know, by destroying this earth and everything, you know, by managing this matrix, this prison that we live. Yeah, I like those monies. And uh, please give me uh, for one hour a hundred of those pieces of paper that he says in many of his doesn't even exist. Oh, my, you motherfucker, you take that, you know, you talk bad, bad about it, but you take it. <laughs> so at least just realize, you know, don't, don't be. Uh, uh, so, and then, you know, indirectly you are, we are all in this fucking shit, guys. The people that m have made this shit, this prison, are fucking aces, guys. They are fucking knowledgeable, guys. They know everything. They know what the fuck they're doing. We are just powerless. We just see this shit and we can't do nothing. There's millions like us, guys, that have a brain. Like this guy, this guy has brain, guys. And there's a million like us, guys, but we fucking can do nothing. We keep, you know, feeding the system. Patreon. You are feeding the system. Sverige. Because you don't believe in good and evil. In my opinion, if we do not sacrifice our lives and start to sacrifice our life, guys, this shit has will never change. Because if you want to be comfortable, you know, uh, in this system, you somehow, me that I'm speaking, I'm relying on someone that is paying my fucking rent right now. Because I am, uh, you know, ob objecting to this, uh, to the way the system gives you money right now. And there's no other way. To live for me because if I try to make to, to 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 do work the way I want it's not conceivable that they will find you and put you in jail so what I do 
at least I accept. And the, the only way, in my opinion, to get out of this shit is if we realize that there's no, nobody's clean here, guys. We're all using the system to survive here, guys. Let's be real about this. And the only way to get out of this shit is if we, if we sacrifice ourselves, do something, sacrifice ourselves, get out of, the, of this... Uh, well, he says, you know, don't get out of your comfort zone. You will watch his videos, guys. But anyway, I will leave you with something uh, that I liked about his videos, which is this one here, Sex Marriage. Well, sex marriage, guys, uh, yes, uh, the good thing would be, you know, uh, to have one woman. And uh, I was fighting with a girl uh, yesterday. Uh, well, we cannot even call them women anymore. Let me see if she's still there. Yeah, she has brought me. Okay, who cares? Uh, the... But the the fact is, guys, that when uh, I was talking to this girl yesterday, and and all they are fucking brainwashed, man. They are not women anymore, and uh, and at the state that we are right now, guys, we are fucked. We are fucked because uh, to leave, guys, you you need a woman. You know the the spiritual part, you know, is empty right now for us, guys. At least for those of us that still have this uh, uh, spiritual tank in us uh, the, the the sheeple with time they don't even need to feel that spiritual tank they are fucking zombies but for me guys I lack I lack a woman like and also lack a woman uh, I, would, uh, I would love to have a woman uh, beside me because I'm fucking getting old guys and it will be time you know uh, I, I don't have any children it's I'm f uh, so it's 20 so i have i have 40 in april i will be which is right now right yes 31 of march yes in in this next month i will be 41 so it's uh it's kind of shitty right now guys i mean uh, I, I will pass a miserable fucking life guys if i don't move my ass but the problem is there's no women out, out there and also, even if you find a woman, guys, how will you be able to take care of this woman and to have children? Because the children in this system, as soon as they are born, somebody wants to put a tag on them. Somebody wants to put some uh, the magic juice in them, lots of it. And somebody wants, wants me uh, to not even fucking... Fucking, uh, uh, how do you call it? Homeschooling. I don't even want to do that. I decide that I don't want the state to take to to tell me. Uh, have you teached your children uh, homeschooling? Let me show you. He, he has to pass this uh, exam so that it shows to me that he you you have uh, teached him well. Fuck you! I do with my child whatever the fuck I want. Okay, I have a brain, and you are not my master, you motherfucker. So, until we are at this point, guys, where I can uh, do with my child whatever I want and not give it to the fucking adult of the state so that he will tag me and poison my child and then tell me what the fuck to teach to my child. If it's allowed here in Italy, guys, it's very hard to do homeschooling. Okay? Uh, so, I live in Italy, but I'm not Shitalians. Italian, I mean, Italian, uh, all, all Dambians, I mean, everybody's fucking dumb, that this fucking nationality is all bullshit. There's only smart people that still have a fucking brain and uh, the sea of morons. So, until, guys, we don't have a someone that will want to put th their filthy hand on our childs and someone which will tell, will tell us what you can work on and how you should work you know you should have this uh, piece of paper to sell your fucking uh, the 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 fruits of your labor you know how can you have a uh, because they were talking here in his channel about having it's a good thing to have a very uh, with lots of kids family you know a very um, 
numerous uh, family, you know. Uh, and of course, uh, the women, uh, uh, this is another aspect that I want to play you in this video. The, the women that are going from a dick to another nowadays, they do not realize that that uh, kind of life is fucking killing them. And they also kill babies, guys, by doing this shit. Okay? And uh, I don't want to do to, to say what I said to this girl, but because it's private. But uh, they are fucking dumb. They do not realize that they are killers. You know? That they are destroying themselves, you know? And uh, this is the only video that I really liked about this guy. I mean, uh, when he, you know, gives... Uh, he's in favor of what they say in the Bible. In, in, in this aspect, you know, of marriage, you know? Of having one mate, you know? So let's hear this. Most of you have heard that certain religions forbid sex before marriage. But the Bible, for example, actually teaches that sex is marriage. Naturally, this makes perfect sense, because you would have sex for the first time after you start menstruating. You are young, fertile, and create one flesh with your partner by having a child. This is essentially an unbreakable bond for life. The chemical connection created between two humans this way is incredibly strong. It's essentially an addiction, but that's what true love is, and there's nothing wrong with realizing this. That's how you stay together and create a big family. The pregnancy of so this guy had some issues with the women, of course. Who who doesn't? You know, if you are sane mentally and realize what should be the good thing to do, you know. Uh, and he in in one of his videos he talks about this psychopath woman, and I'm dealing with psychopaths even right now, <laughs> guys. They are fucking destroyed, man, and it's fucking fucking hard guys to to realize it there's no women anymore guys there's no fucking women anymore yes if you're a woman you're not talking to me right now you're commenting all what you're saying <laughs> come on please maybe you are a rare a rare uh, case but uh, there's a desert out there we're fucking cons consuming our hands by jerking off guys a woman so, can you please help us on that uh, side, you know? But again, as I was saying, we first to have a family and, 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 and uh, a woman and children and everything. First, you have to get rid of the fucking slavery, that this prison that you are under. But we are fucking morons, guys. We do not have... Uh, we are so divided. It's unbelievable. And still, like I'm doing right now, guys... Yes, I might might seem that I'm fighting with this guy, but you know, this is my brother, man. You know, he has a brain which is so rare these days. You know, we are so fucking few. Well, in a way, we are a lot, but it's internet that makes us this illusion. Uh, reality is, as he says in one of his video, 99% of humans are fucking morons. Maybe I will play that also. So let's hear this. Obviously, makes the woman more attractive for the man so pregnancy makes the woman more attractive to the man and then the child is born that's it you are bonded for life that's the perfect natural scenario what went wrong and how did we get so far away from this firstly if you have sex with a condom <laughs> then you will not create a connection because there will literally be a lack of a chemical connection between the two of you it's not even real sex as a man you know, this I was fighting with this girl yesterday. I was just explaining this to her, you know. And she was telling to me like, of course you have to use condoms so hard. Otherwise, how you do with uh, children? Yes, of course. If you are a, a fucking slaver like uh, right now, uh, you have to kill your your children in, in your in your uh, head, you know. That that's uh, a good thing to do. But uh, if you if we were free, guys, we would have one a woman and you have sex with her just her you know you know how to do it you know and uh, if you like he this guy is saying if you have like one child every year for example while she is pregnant you can have sex for fun if you so like it you know uh, if you are so dependent on that rush you know well, it's it's a good thing yes but i was trying to tell her that you know people mm, back then 
were not so desperate about this fucking um, material, you know, this, this, this sex, you know, sex, sex, sex all the time, you know, like we are today, like junkies for sex, you know. Uh, so, you know, you would have, yes, at the end, you, you might have families of almost 15 children, but, but that was normal, guys. It's not normal the way uh, we're living right now, you know. And, and he will explain now some details of that now here. If you have only had sex with a condom, then you are still a virgin, technically. I've never used a condom in my whole life, and I'm very proud. So, I'm publicly admitting I'm a virgin then. <laughs> proud of that. Another problem is that you are dealing with boys who grow up being brainwashed by the media to believe that having sex with a lot of women is what's gonna make them a true man, instead of having a family for which you actually have to be healthy and strong. Having a lot of sexual partners is the easiest thing on earth, because you have to be weak and damaged for that, which most men and women are. It perfectly fits together. Naturally speaking, you have achieved literally nothing. Being able to trust somebody and have a functioning relationship, that's something. A natural connection is of course still possible nowadays, but then you also have to deal with all of the mental or gut issues such as bipolar disorder, all of the garbage that people eat, even if you would have completely natural sex with somebody, there's so many more problems to deal with that it could still ruin it all. A lot of women today feel like they have no purpose in life. Even though they studied and have a so-called great career, that's because a woman in nature spends most of her day with her children. It's one of the most fulfilling things you can possibly do, especially as a woman. There's of course, uh, the so-called woman of today, when you tell them this, when you tell them this, those you go the fuckers. I just want to jerk off uh, to, with a dildo and just uh, have my career and uh, and suck my boss's dick and uh, get my uh, v, v, you know, to, to have my pass and everything. And uh, that is independence. So beautiful. I have, you know, a man, you know, I can uh, hop from one man to another, make them uh, salivate, you know. Uh, uh, behind me, you know, use them, you know, like, like the psychopath that I have become, you know. Absolutely no way to be happy, except if you have children. A lot of couples make the mistake of only having two or three children, which for one thing is the main cause of depopulation, but it may also destroy your relationship. You may start using uh, protection again, which is a stupid term, such as condoms, or the woman may start using the pill. This will, of course, change her hormones, which will then destroy the chemical love between you two. Let's hear it again, this, because it's important, you morons, hear this. Just condoms, or the woman may start using the pill. This will, of course, change her hormones, which will then destroy the chemical love between you two. Her hormones, woman may start using the pill. This will, of course, change her hormones. That's why we don't have women anymore. These morons hopping from one dick to the other using pills. They have become men. Whores. Which will then destroy the chemical love between you two. That's why they hate men. They want to just use them. Instead of having children all of your life, you stop so soon and then you wonder why your marriage breaks apart even though you stop doing what created the strongest bond between you two. Nobody likes to think about their woman getting fucked by somebody else because it does not happen in nature. You can go into deep denial, hope that she never mentions her past partners, which will most likely destroy everything, but it will always be in the back of your head, and that's absolutely normal. A woman also doesn't like to think about her guy being with other women, but the difference is that a woman loses almost all of her value once she loses her virginity. That may sound harsh, but it's the natural truth. I've talked to a lot of women who still feel traumatized years later because they lost their virginity to somebody who simply left them afterwards. As a woman, you don't only have to choose the right guy to be with, you have to choose the right guy to have a family with. If you don't have children, when you lose your virginity, then it will not only be a waste, you will destroy your body and quite possibly your whole life. You will destroy the guy to have a family with. 
if you don't have children, when you lose your virginity, then it will not only be a waste, you will destroy your body and quite possibly your whole life. Well, didn't end well. I wanted to have some more effect on that ending, but it didn't. It wasn't like I like it. Showers. So what do we have? Just fucking eating and eating and eating. What? So guys, this was uh, Sverige, guys. I suggest you because uh, except these videos here, guys, the rest is good. Good stuff here and there. If you take out the there's no good, there's no evil part. Yeah, it's a good, good stuff. Ciao, ciao.